is the correct length here with that amount of slag but this one should be in the up position and this one should be in the down position to separate them yeah this one needs to be like this it's different for higher low hang points right yeah but that's for the moment they should all be set on high the brake toggle in the up position and this and the, the wingtip steering the wingtip steering elastic in the, in the bottom position so they have the maximum distance between them These are the GTR risers. They're quite different from uh, from what we normally have. Some uh, big changes have taken place with all our experience of doing pylon racing and everything, and sharp turning and everything else, and speed range. So what we have here is, uh, first of all, I'd like to go to the, draw your attention to all the pulleys. All the pulleys are Harkin uh, low friction ball bearing pulleys. They're everywhere. You'll see them on the speed bar here, down here at the bottom, and also I'm going to talk about this later, but we have an extra pulley in the middle here. The toggle is fairly standard, but you'll see below the toggle is, a, is an extra uh, attachment. This is your tip steering system, and you can reach it with the brake in your hand. It's a bungee, so you can pull down on it, like that. But basically you can use it or not, or not use it at all. Bypass it and not use it. So it allows you, allows the pilot to play with the brakes, but also at the same time wingtip steering at different levels. At the moment, it's set up with everything off, so trimmers are off. If you move down here, you'll see the trim system. You can see there's a slightly rigid piece. This is to make it easy to get a gloved hand into the into the brakes, into the into the trim system. You can also hook the finger through here and do this directly. Full slow position and release. Or you can, as a pilot, pull that down in increments as you wish. Neutral, about an inch off full slow. This is what we use for takeoff. It's inch uh, position here. So even on full slow, you can now go on the speed bar and everything adjusts in one smooth line. So you can be on full slow and still use a speed bar, that's basically it. If you're on full fast, the effect is great, obviously. If I just run through the, through the speed bar just quickly, hang on, you'll see that there is a little block here, a little ball. As the ball comes up against the pulley here, it multiplies the movement. So as you push on the bar, you get to there, it's actually very easy to move. And you get there and it gets a little bit stiffer, but the movement gets much greater. And the reason for that is that when, you've, when you first start to push on the bar, your leg is not straight. So the effort is quite difficult when you start pushing from this sort of position, your bent, leg bent up. And as you straighten your leg, the last little bit is actually quite easy to straighten your leg. And what we do is that we use that extra force so you can actually feel, you can feel like there's a stop off point as well. It means that you can really control your speed bar better by knowing that 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 little stop then doubles the movement. So you can use the last little bit of speed bar, gives you quite a big difference in speed. And it also, the, the, for the pilot, it gets a little bit stiffer to push, but it's an easier position to push. Works well. Right, then down in here, you see this extra line. <coughs> this extra line comes in. And underneath here, and this can be done in flight or before flight, you'll see another speed bar hook with a little toggle on it. Now, you can't connect these two things in flight unless you're on full slow. But let me explain what it does. We go down to full slow. And now, we can connect up in flight our PC system. PC system is named after Pat Kohler. He's a guy who did a, a, a lot of work in competition. And uh, hats off to him, he came up with a wonderful idea. And basically what happens now, and let the trim completely off. Sorry, yeah, there. Trim's completely off, but it's still being held on by this line. Now when we come down on the speed bar, what happens is, and you watch closely, we actually move everything in the opposite direction. So as we can put on the speed bar, we let go of the C's and D's at the same time. And when we let go of the speed bar, it automatically pulls down 
on the C's and D's at the same time. And this means that you can use the speed bar in like a turn, yeah, going flat out round the course with your brakes and everything, and you can release that speed bar mid-turn and it gives you a really sharp turn, so huge energy conversion we're using this system. So it's not something you need all the time for flying, but it's a fun device that you have on your risers, it's an additional thing. So it's a PC system relating to case of pack cola. Now to remove it in flight, what you do is you pull down on your trimmers to the maximum. It's now loose. You just reach up and clip it and tuck it back down. It's up to you, you can leave it hanging around if you want. But that's why we have a little neoprene sock. You can just tuck it down inside neatly. And then you're back to normal operation. A lot of people were finding actually <laughs> are not even bothering with the trimmers anymore after using this a little while. Uh, they're actually just flying it. If it's at all windy, they don't need full slow anymore. So they're just, just hooking it up. and using it with it permanently on and the trimmer is just permanently off you take off it's almost neutral so if it's a little windy it's no problem and you've immediately got your full system operational still use the trimmers for that last little bit of full slow if you want it yeah. so you know it's almost like it's a permanent feature if you want it it has lots of options and then this here also you can use this to cancel torque by changing asymmetrically from side to side so on one side you could have it like that, if you've got a very torquey engine, quite a complex system up near the wing. Um, we'll go through that on another video.